I purchased this denim fabric and this cotton fabric I'm going to use as a lining to sew up New Look 6914, which is a 99 cent pattern that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I wanna make View E. View E does call for six pattern pieces and three of the pattern pieces will be used to cut out the lining. All of the views call for a buckle in the back and I did purchase a pack of buckles. I think there are six in here, but I only need one for this project. And View E does call for one button. I didn't buy any additional buttons because I have this stash here and hopefully something in here will work. I added interfacing to all of the front pieces and also the collar piece, which is this piece here. Now I'm ready to go ahead and work on step number one, which is adding stay stitches around the neck edge. So on the back piece and also the neck edge on the front pieces. I didn't realize that I also need to put interfacing on the side front pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I have the side front and the front together. And then this is the back with the buckle. And now what I'm gonna do is stitch the side back to the back. I didn't cut out my lining pieces. I'm just going to put the denim portion of the vest together first. This is a 2011 pattern and I did cut out a size eight. Now that I have the back piece all together, I'm going to stitch the shoulder seams. So here and then here. I have the collar turned and I just need to press it and then I can go ahead and attach it to the neck edge of the vest. The collar is pinned to the neck edge and next I will go around and baste it down there is top stitching along the finished edge of the collar and I did my top stitching at a 3.5 stitch length. I just stitched the lining together. So here's one front piece. Here is the other front piece and now I'm just going to flip these over so that the right sides are together and then I'll stitch the lining to the vest. This is the collar and I'm tucking it in and just pulling the lining over the finished collar. And then I'm going to pin the edge in here. So it's like the finished collar is tucked inside. So I'll go over here, same thing. This is the finished collar. I'm gonna make sure it's pulled up out of the way and then pin everything down, down here, pin this and then stitch this up and all around. So I'll be stitching from this edge up around the neck, down here and over. I left the sides open per the directions and then now I just need to stitch the back of the lining to the back of the vest and then I'll be able to pull the lining to the right side from these side openings so I can just reach in and pull the vest out and it'll be on the right side. And I also need to do some trimming and clipping just to kind of neaten up the inside seam allowances. I was having a hard time getting the vest to flip out to the right side because the fabric is so thick and this collar would not pull through. So I had to go in and take the collar off, but here's the vest without the collar. I have the vest with the right sides together and in order to stitch up the side seams just to make it a little bit easier I measured one inch from this seam here and I made a mark and then I measured one inch below the bottom seam and I made another mark. So now you'll take these side seams you're going to match this seam up to this seam here make sure they're even right sides together and pin everything together and then you're going to stitch from your one inch mark here all the way down to the one inch mark at the bottom making sure these seam lines are matched and then pull everything open and go down to your dot and then stop stitching there 
I had decided that I was gonna put in three buttonholes and three buttons, but I could not get my buttonholes in right. And then once I messed up the first one, I tried to fix it and correct the other ones and it just got worse from there. But I am still going to wear the vest. I still like it and denim is so forgiving. So I think it's gonna be okay. For my outfit of the day, I'm going to wear these jeans, a white bodysuit and the vest. This is actually a great little pattern. I really enjoyed making it and I did decide to add a snap to the front. It is so hot out here and this jumpsuit is perfect. However, I did bring <laughs> this super big like cardigan and it's like a sweater. But that's just because you know when you go inside, the restaurant is cold a lot of times. So I wanna make sure I'm nice and warm. Okay, so we just finished eating. Now let me tell you all, when we were in Greece, we caught a cab somewhere and I had my husband's sunglasses. I accidentally left them in the cab. And that was like sometime last year and he still hasn't replaced them. So I think we're going to walk to the eyeglass place. Is it Sunglass Hut? Is that the name? Sunglass Hut. So we're gonna go see if we can find him some new sunglasses. getting ready to go out we are going to just go out and listen to some music and just have a nice evening away from home and let me share with you what I'm wearing here is a super comfortable sewing make outfit this is a jumpsuit knit this is also a knit garment I think it's a Berta pattern and yeah this is what I'm wearing for the day Thank you. 